Hello dear ones, it's Alice. I just like to talk a little about the issue of of control and and the issue of faith. Um, sometimes it seems in the world of duality, the third dimension, that we are being controlled or that we are controlling others with our other people with our will. But the important thing to understand about the third dimension is that the filters of the great incoming light have been dumbed down, dumbed down to the point where there are, uh, there is no other seeing and understanding in the third dimension than the seeing and understanding of the victim aggressor paradigm. It's what some people call the victim-victimizer paradigm. The predator, the prey-predator relationship. Okay, this is very far from the truth of the matter, but this, these are the lenses through which we, our minds, uh, visualize the third dimensional reality. Okay, so the first thing to know is that, is that Mr. Mr. Raven up there. He's laughing, having a good time. Oh, here comes the other one. I thought as much. Um, so, um, the first thing to know is that when we feel that we are controlled, that this is an illusion created by the dumbing down of the light through the filter of the third dimension. Okay, so the first thing to know is that no matter how how real it feels, it's not real. Okay, now a lot of people have been talking about dark attacks. I've never, I've, you know, there were times when I went through um, situations that I, my mind phrased or, as dark attacks, and they had all the hallmarks of what my my fellow oracles and prophets um, described as dark attacks. And then as time went on, as my understanding of the situation grew, I, I began to, to know that these quote-unquote dark attacks always preceded uh, a greater understanding of truth. And so uh, what was happening apparently it was, the, and, and in fact this happened last night, <laughs> so it's vivid in my mind, I experienced an incredible dark attack. Would you believe it? And so um, I just kept in mind this faith, this faith in God, and this faith that what was manifesting was going to lead me to a greater awareness of truth and, and divine will. And um, this morning when I woke up, uh, um, I, you know, sometimes when I wake up, I wake up with this thought, this one thought that, that serves me for the entire day. And the thought I woke up with was, my will to the will of God my will to the will of God. And, and immediately all of, that, all of that trouble and darkness lifted from me. I was remembering a gruesome event from a past lifetime, long time ago off planet. That was the preceding night. I was remembering it. And uh, for a long time before that, I was reenacting in my mind this this that happened on that planet. Um, and so the feeling that I had been having for a long time was that I was controlled and I was going through all of the emotions that I experienced on that planet which was um, a slave pla planet elsewhere enslaved by, by astral entities uh, who had tremendous powers of mind control so all of the humans that, on that planet at that time, sold so very long ago, they lost their faith in God, or at the very least, their faith in God was deeply challenged, and their morphogenetic fields were altered. And many of those souls are here on Earth today and are experiencing this incredible clearing of, of those past lifetime memories for the entire planet there. And so it's been very intense for everyone. 
okay so so I have in mind St. Francis St. Francis who spoke of um, let me be an instrument of thy will he was speaking to God and he had the most incredible song about that I'll see if I can find a copy and um, so his life was like a song to God he wanted to every moment of the day he wanted to align his will with the divine will and isn't that the way you know even when we feel completely at the mercy of something beyond our own control yet where is the will of God in this where is God's will God's will is to the perfect understanding of his children and somehow this experience this experience of separateness from God this experience of, of lack of, of free will this experience of lack of holiness and so forth this 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 lack of love this 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 all of these these feelings that are that are ungodlike and undivine are leading us in some way back to an understanding of alignment with the divine will and the divine mind and the divine love the divine heart Dwal Kul mentioned it too Dwal Kul was a an ascended master student of of Kuthumi who takes great care and stewardship of the earth and um, Dwal Kul taught, had had a prayer that I've, I've um, channeled before called the Great Invocation which has very similar sentiments uh, Lord let me be an instrument of thy will and so and so I say so I say when I feel that I'm clearing past lifetimes and that things are out of control and that I don't understand I just don't know what's going on I say my will to the will of God and then suddenly everything becomes clear this is the wonderful thing about faith it leads us through the valley of of death it leads us through the deepest darkness into ever greater light <laughs>